So do you, we remember when I said that I was going to try to limit the amount of luxury that I'm buying right now and just get pieces that I really want and not just bags because the luxury, well, um, oops. Pull my heart out of my chest, train my mind so I forget, sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out then fill the hole. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So you may know something different with my hair. I colored it for the summer. I'm thinking that for like each of the months of summer that we're out of school, I may change this uh, to a different color just because I'm going to do something with my hair. But while I'm growing it out, I thought why not have some fun with it. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. In this video, we are going to talk about this big shopping tote that I have here from Gucci. So, yeah, um, let's talk about it. So, if you haven't been on the channel before or recently, I fairly recently got a new job back in July of 2023 working at the university that I graduated from and this is like I didn't think it would be but it has turned out to be a dream job for me. It's my first full-time job. I have amazing benefits, amazing co-workers. I love what I'm doing and I've been able to you know obviously earn more money, save more money, and be able to do the things that I want and spend my money how I want, but being, you know, fr not frugal, but being mindful about it. So this particular bag, well, I had a budget for myself and my stepdad has family that lives right outside of Charlotte. So we decided to go see his mother for Mother's Day and, you know, see all of his family and then go into Charlotte to the big South Park mall that they have. I could live in that mall because they have Louie, they have Gucci, they have Alexander McQueen. They're getting a Balenciaga, but we don't talk about Balenciaga. And like, I knew that I wanted a bag. I had some that I had my eye on, but I was like, let me go see them. And this particular bag, I actually saw on a girl on Instagram, but it was kind of weird how I found her. So I love watching what's in my bag videos here on YouTube. That's like the OG videos to film if you're a beauty and lifestyle fashion person. And I saw this girl's what's in my bag video and I wanted to watch it because she had a Mulberry Alexa, but it was kind of patent leather and I was like, huh, that's interesting. And she also had a bunch of tattoos. And I was like, I want to get a look at her tattoos. So I watched that video and I was watching some of her other videos on there. And then I wanted to find her Instagram because she does a lot of like little tattoo vlogs and stuff. And I love watching those on Instagram. And I noticed on one of her reels, a picture of this Gucci bag. And I was like, Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder what that is. And then right under that, and I'm going to have a picture here. Um, cause I can't remember her name, but she has like her own tattoo, like aftercare or something brand, but she has amazing fashion sense. And I would love to raid her handbag closet, but I saw this picture of this Gucci bag and I was like, that is pretty. I like that. And I sent it to my mom and I said, what do you think about this? And she said, I like that. And I was debating between this bag and a St. Laurent bag, but ultimately I was like, I want the Gucci, just cause I felt a better vibe with the Gucci store. That sounds really weird, but I was kind of intimidated to go into the St. Laurent store. But anyway, that's different. But, you know, I was saying, let me look at all the different stores. And then once I find the bag that I really like, I'll know it and I'll buy it. So 
my mom and I, we went into Neiman Marcus first. I looked around. They had some pretty bags. They had Lueve, and I was so excited to actually see them in person and touch the leather. Oh, that leather was so buttery smooth, but they didn't have any of their bags in my particular price range that I really liked or could justify paying that much for the bag. So afterward, we walked past Louis Vuitton. You know, I'm a Louis girl, but they haven't really been exciting me any. And if it is, it's either too outrageous or if I can't afford it, I don't really like it. So I was like, uh, let's not go into Louis this time. And even my mom was like, branch out, get something else. So we went into the Gucci store. And let me tell you, we had a very good experience. They were like crazy busy because we went before Mother's Day and apparently there's a lot of graduations and there was a golf tournament. So the SAs, they were doing what they could. They couldn't be as like one-on-one, -on -one, but they definitely, you know, everybody greeted us. Unlike my first trip to Louis Vuitton, which I will leave in the cards for you to check that out. But everybody was very nice. And we walked in and my mom actually saw some of like the newer bags that looks like one that she has. And she was like, oh my gosh, that looks like my old Gucci bag. So we were talking about that. And I said, well, the bag I'm looking for from here, it should be on this shelf. And then all of a sudden I looked to the right and there was the bigger one sitting on the counter. And I told my mom, I said, there, there's the bigger one. And so I was gonna go sneak over there and look at it. And then I can't remember, like there was a woman that was holding it. I said, that's it, but just the bigger size. And then I don't know if she bought it or if they took it away because that one, I didn't see it. And then all of a sudden I saw the smaller version of the bag and I went, I think that's it. And so I made a beeline over there. My mom was talking to one of the associates about her old, Gucci bag and how she went when she first got her job and the whole experience and I wasn't trying to be rude but I was like that's my bag so I went over there and I was just standing there looking at it and I was like that's pretty in person and my mom came over and she said is that it and I said yeah and she said I like that and usually she doesn't like small bags but she was like that's a really good size for one and so I was just staring at it and she said you could touch it and I said I did it but you know, the sales associate was very nice. She put this old shoulder strap on it for me. And she said, there's a mirror over here. I've got to go take care of somebody else, but just try out the bag. She brought the bigger one out for me too, just to see it. And it was pretty, but it was more of like a work bag. I was looking for an everyday kind of bag. And so I tried it on in the mirror and everything. And my mom was like, I, I think that's it. I like that one. I said, yeah, this is it. So got it and I'm going I am going to show it to you I promise but it was really cool how they got everything set up before the girl went to or my sales associate went to take care of somebody else she had like a QR code set up on her phone that I scanned and you were able to input all of your information in there and so it was able to go back to her wherever she rung the sale up she could just find me and go from there but I got a bag from the back. I think she said that it was the last one that they had besides the one that they had on the sales floor. So I was like, oh, okay. So let us open it now. So I'm gonna do like the actual unboxing, unboxing separately, cause I wanna do like a reel and stuff, but I will take the box out of the bag. So here it is. Here's the box. I love, love, love that ribbon and everything. And the box itself, the pattern on it, like, I think this is a lot prettier than Louis Vuitton's stuff. I'm not going to lie. I may be becoming a Gucci girl, but yeah, so let's open it. All right, guys, here she is. Ah! So this is the Gucci Small Ophidia Tote. And it smells so good. So this has the coated K 
canvas, I think this is coated canvas and leather handles and then it zips on the top and you can actually zip unzip it all the way to where it will you're supposed to unzip it all the way there it goes so then it opens up like that the strap has its own dust bag oh my gosh so just take the stuffing out and then there's all the little care booklets and stuff, like all of these. And then this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It feels like it's like suede maybe, or like micro suede. And then it's got one little slip pocket back there, but that's all that it has in it. And then it just has the GG on the front here. Let's take that off. And then this is so cute. The little zipper has a little Gucci charm on it too. And of course it has plastic on it. So let us take that off. But here she is. Isn't this so pretty? But I love it. And of course it has the green and red uh, fabric here. So that's why I did green and red for the lights. And then for the shoulder strap in its own dust bag. So this clasp is so cool. And it's one of the reasons why like I was drawn to the bag because when I saw the clasp on it, I was like, oh, that is so cool. But look at that. Look at that, how crazy that is. So let's get that unfurled. Now you can adjust this crossbody so you could, or the strap, you can adjust it so it can be worn crossbody or on your shoulder. I'm either going to wear it as a crossbody or probably in the crook of my arm. So how you unclasp it is you squeeze it right here and then the little rings for it are right here and on the back. So they're like diagonal from each other. So I'm definitely going to have to play with the shoulder strap and get it to where I like it to go, but I'll include like modeling shots and stuff. But yeah, this is my new baby. I love this. I can't wait to wear it. Um, I honestly was not expecting to get this bag. Like I said, I truly went to get the St. Laurent bag, but then when I saw this one in person, I was like, hmm. Yeah, that's my bag. Because I honestly thought it was going to be a lot bulkier than it is. But when I tried it crossbody, I could barely feel it. Of course, like it's going to get a little bit more bulky when I actually put my stuff in it. But it didn't feel like sticking out too much or anything. So I am now going to put all of my stuff in this and start carrying it. But that was my purchase for myself. Like, I know that I bought one, like, the coach bag, but, you know, I wanted to treat myself a little bit more, so got this one. So, I can't wait to try it out, and I will review it for you all, and of course, I will definitely, definitely, definitely do a once in my bag video with this bag, but it's so pretty. Oh, and, um... The reason why I did, or you sign up for the Gucci account is that's how you can do, like it has a lifetime warranty on it. So if any of like the threading comes out or anything, you can send it to them. So kind of like how Louis Vuitton does. But It's my new baby. I love it. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see other fashion, tattoo, whatever, books, 
videos I decide to do, definitely stick around and subscribe. And if you want to see more of me outside of YouTube, check out my Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there than I am on here. So if you want to see more of me, go on there. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it.